As concerns over the coronavirus continue to spread, a lot of terms are being thrown around out there. Quarantine, isolation, and social distancing. But what is the difference between them? Tonight we want to clear up some of the confusion. All three of these terms are explained on the CDC's website, and they all refer to some sort of preventative measure meant to slow the spread of a communicable disease. But each term represents a different stage of the process. So let's start with social distancing. It's exactly what it sounds like. Maintaining a good distance from other people. Six feet is the recommended distance. Doctors say that's how far a sneeze can travel. Social distancing also means limiting your time around large groups of people, especially in public places. Quarantine generally refers to a person who may have been exposed to a communicable disease and is separated from others to prevent it from spreading. A person doesn't have to show any symptoms to be quarantined. Health experts with the CDC say it's more of a precaution than anything else. And what about the term isolation? That's used when someone who is sick with a communicable disease is separated from others. The key difference between isolation and quarantine is whether or not the person does in fact have a disease. A person may be quarantined but never show any signs of the illness and ultimately tests negative. Isolation is used when a person is already sick with the illness and is now limiting contact with others to stop the spread.